Welcome to The Laugh Planet. Today we'll be examining the comedy career of Bill Burr. Over the last 10 years, Bill has established himself as one of the finest working comedians in the country. From appearing on Conan O'Brien or Showtime at the Apollo, his style of comedy is able to connect with the audience. You know when you go to get off a plane, there's like rules when you go to get off the plane, all right? It goes row by row by row. And this lady was all like, ooh, I'm 90, I get to cut everybody, right? So I'm competitive, I start fucking boxing her out, right? Bill grew up in a large family outside of Boston, getting his first laughs imitating his lunatic father. Always putting laughter before his studies, Bill's dreams of pursuing any sort of respectable profession died in the sixth grade. He started his stand-up career at age 23 after attending Emerson College, and he has since amazed his audiences with his talent. Bill Burr's career in acting and comedy started in 1992, where in 1995 he relocated to New York City to continue with his work. We have such a crazy relationship with cows. <laughs> you ever think about that? No, you, you can nurse from it, you can eat it, all right? You can tip it over when it's sleeping, but if you fuck it, you're going to jail. He came into the limelight after he got a chance to broadcast an hour-length show on a weekly basis entitled Bill Burr's Monday Morning Podcast, where he talked about various topics, including current events and sports. Did you fucking see that shameless fucking Hillary Clinton trying to pander to get the African-American vote? She's on some radio show. I just watched the clip. I had to shut it off. Forgive me. I don't know what radio show it is. But she's sitting there, she goes, and she's trying to get the black vote. And she, they ask you, what's something you always carry around with you? And she said, hot sauce. <laughs> the podcast hosted various jokesters, and other times his wife makes guest appearances. Since then, his fame in comedy and media continued, with him featuring in other drama podcasts and on radio programs like You Made It Weird with Pete Holmes, Opie and Anthony Show, the Nerdist Podcast, The Adam Carolla Show, The Joe Rogan Experience, and many more. His career has been inspired by the likes of Richard Pryor, George Carlin, Sam Kinston, Bill Cosby, and Patrice O'Neill. In 2006, Bill Burr walked onto a stage in Philadelphia in front of an audience that had booed and jeered every comedian who had come up before him. And they treated him the same. That became his shining moment. Bill Burr unleashed a torrent of witty rage that was so glorious that even the angry, rowdy crowd set aside their own inane contempt to laugh in praise of the miracle that they had just witnessed. The moment was special because it defined Bill Burr. Since then, Burr has been busy as ever. Burr's jokes on several of his interviews and specials have received criticism over the years. His joke about Caitlyn Jenner on Conan angered lots of people. That's what killed me when Bruce became Caitlyn. That was like a national news story, like yeah. on a, at a ridiculous level. Right. There's like baby seals washing up on the beach because there's no fish left, and they're talking to this this lady, you know, like so. Bruce, are you gonna go? Can your Olympic back handle a D D cup, or are you gonna go with like <laughs> something a little more perky? Additionally, his remarks about Louis C.K who has admitted to sexual misconduct allegations, also received a fair amount of criticism. They took everything from him, and, like, if he wants to go out and go do stand-up, I mean, it's a free country. You don't have to like it. You don't have to go to the, sh go to the shows or anything like that. But um, I just wish we could get out of this. I wish we could get back to a... I don't know if that period ever existed, but I wish we could get to a period where you could discuss things. His voice is featured in the 2008 video game Grand Theft Auto 4. Jason, I haven't seen you around much, man. Yeah, I've been fucking this Russian broad broker. Gets a psycho daddy real mad. In 2009, Bill was the first stand-up comedian to appear on The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien. He never voted for the former US President Barack Obama during the 2012 elections. He has not received any accolade yet, although he has been acclaimed a number of times. 
In one instance, he was regarded by the Rolling Stone Journal as the undisputed heavyweight champ of rage fueled humour. Also, he was named by beholders of the US Jokester organisation as a comedian's comedian. Women are so overrated, right? We, we went from. Wait, 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 wait. We wait, went. Wait, wait, what? We wait, went. We wait, went. What? The man against marriage has finally married. He is married to producer, director, and screenwriter Nia Hill. The pair married in October 2013. They have a daughter from this relationship, Lola, who was born on January 20, 2017. That's it for now, folks. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. See you next time.